Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the, um, well, to my RS3 Hardcore Iron Man Progress series. Um, where we left off yesterday was after the Broken Home quest, which I genuinely really enjoyed, actually, for a quest. I thought it was really good. Pretty scary. Um, not too scary. I did sleep last night, which is always good, but still. Um, I just wanted to show you before we crack on my money pouch right there. 307k, and I think yesterday in the video it was... 80 something K. I can't quite remember exactly, but also, wait for it, guys. Whoops, wrong tab. Here we go. The Jar of Divine Light. That cost me 100K. I bought it from Mr. X in Edgeville. And I put it there so I would never take it out of my bank by accident or anything. Well, I hope I won't. And then I accidentally click on it. I'm a bit worried about that. Also, a hard glue scroll right there. Now, that's. I've not done that yet, I can't do it, I've got to a clue that I can't do, and I'm, I have a feeling it's one of the last ones because I've done that many, but anyway guys, I'm going to stop rambling and just crack on with this video. Okay guys, so I just realised I didn't actually say what we were doing today, I don't think, so anyway, we're going to be doing Elemental Workshop Part 3. Don't know why, I just thought, you know, it was always a good quest when I did it last, it was actually quite hard, I tried doing it without a guide and I did really struggle, but anyway, search this bookcase and we get a ragged book. Okay, here we go. Yeah, cool, great. Um, you take Ragged Book, read. Let's just read it and see what happens. Um, I'm not actually going to read all of that. That would take a while. But Now, I was just saying I had any right-click options. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next part of the... Okay, guys, we're in the Elemental Workshop right now. We've got to kill three of these Earth Elementals by mining them and taking their elemental law so we make three bars so I'll get back to you once we've got those bars okay guys we're just making the bars now as you can see I thought those things were going to be a lot harder to kill they're not actually too bad oh goodness me i got to do it again looks as if we've got to click on these to um yeah yeah basically well where's my oh panic over I thought I'd lost the third one nope don't mold do not mold oh ragged book that's what we want to be doing there we go we made ourselves a key mold anyway guys just gonna get to the next part of the quest for you Okay, guys, we're down in the second floor. Well, I say the second floor, the second floor down in the Elemental Workshop. And we've got to do this. The most tedious thing in this game. I can't actually remember how to do this. There we go. We've got it. So anyway, guys, I'm not going to make you guys watch this process because it's going to take some time. We've got to do it for two of the bars. So get back to once we've got two bars. Okay, guys, we just got our first prime bar. That wasn't too fun at all, but I'm going to go get ourselves a second one. Also, I found a small cog. Um, I'm not too sure how I've got hold of that, but anyway, just thought I'd put that in there as well. Okay, guys, we've got ourselves our second prime bar, which is... It wasn't as bad as the first time, because I actually knew what I was doing this time. But anyway, guys, yeah, gonna get on to the next part of the quest. Okay, guys, we're supposed to be opening a door down here. Um, or at least I thought it was down here. It was meant to be the body door, but is this... There's the body door, there we go. Looks a bit different, I don't know. Let's see, the door is locked. How about we use... What? Yeah, I'm going to get back to you in a second, guys. I think I've messed up right here. Okay, guys, I realised how I messed up. I was wondering why I still had an elemental bar left. It's because I didn't make myself a ragged elemental key. So, we've gone and done that. And now this door should... Yep, should open. Which is all good. So, anyway, guys, we're in this um, control room. Nothing nice. The uh, door seems to be stuck, so this is the puzzle we got to do now. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this puzzle because it does take an extremely long time, and I'm sure you guys probably weren't happy having to watch 50 minutes of me doing that quest yesterday if you did watch. So I'm going to skip all this out because I think it's going to be a bit of a pain. Okay, guys, I just realized I hadn't used a prime bar on this slot right here. I believe that's what we got to do before we proceed with the quest, yes. It's opened up this, but I don't think any of this stuff works yet. Which is why we've got to go down and do this puzzle, um, which is going to be fun. I'm going to let you guys see a little bit of what I'm doing, because I don't want this to be like a five-minute video, and that's it. So, um, yeah, let's just crack on. Um, just give me a second to just grab this sheet, because I said I'd, I don't know if I said before, but I've actually written down all of the um, cog, the leaves i got to pull, just so I don't get confused with it later on. So, Okay, guys, we are ready to start this. So, this is the first one. We've got to pull, then this one. Uh, 
and this one. Okay, guys, you can see it's going to be a really boring process, so I'm going to skip through this entire thing pretty much up until pretty much the last part. Okay, guys, we're coming to the end of the first part. Um, so, yeah, that is the sort of the first stage of how you want it to be. So, yeah, I'll tell you when we get to the end of the next Okay, guys, I have just realized something. Um, I've actually sussed how to do this without having a list for the levers you need to pull, which is absolutely amazing. And, and because I've just started talking, I've forgotten where I am. Okay, so this one. Okay, I've just pulled this lever here, which goes along with this little square, this little line here, if you can see my cursor, this little line. So anyway, I need to pull this lever now. It's going to clear this block here. That's what it does. So this slide is going to move over there. Oh, What's that? Okay, so this is now our new set line. So I need to pull this lever next, and it's going to clear this row here, this block here that... Look. Oh, I have... I'm actually pleased. I've done this quest about four times, four different accounts. I am incredibly happy. I'm going to let you guys skip this part, because even though I'm incredibly happy with it, you guys probably like, yeah, we, all, we already got that, Ben. We already got that. But anyway... Okay, guys, we just got this cool little cutscene right here. It was like lasted for a second or two. Um, yeah, basically, we finished the first main stage of it all. Um, I'm going to cross that off on my list, even though I don't actually need my list now, other than for knowing when to reset. So, that was all fun and games. Oh, not the undo, do the reset lever now. So, anyway, guys, we're what? I'm maybe a fifth of the way through all of this. It's taken me about five minutes, so probably another half an hour to go. So, yeah. I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, we're getting incredibly close to the end of the next little bit we got to do. Um, I actually did this without looking at the thing. Well, I had a look at a picture of what it's meant to look like. But other than that, I've done this all on my own. I'm pretty proud of that, if you can be proud of something like that. But, yeah. Um, and there we go. So, now I believe we're up to the next part. So, yeah. I'll get back to you when we get to the end of that. Okay, guys, we're coming to the end of the next stage. Just a couple more to go. And this last one here. Let's move that down there. Get all of the cogs ready. There we go. Now that's done. We need to go up. And, yeah, we've got to reset now. I hate resetting because it always makes me feel as if, like, if I have done it wrong, that's game over at the moment. But it's fine. We know what we're doing. So, anyway, guys, get back to you when the next part's up. Okay, guys, we've just done the next bit. So I forgot to put the recording on then for when it actually got completed. But, yeah, so that thing there, that tall mechanism slider, I believe, just got lowered. So, yeah, we're pretty much halfway there now, which for me is a bit of a shame because it's <laughs> 25 past 11 in the night and I'm pretty tired. But, nevertheless, I'm going to carry on with this and hopefully get it done pretty soon. Okay, hey guys, I've just uh, forgot to reset on the last one I did, which was mm, a bit of a pain because I got halfway through it and then as you can see this little counter thing's going skits right here, it's barking everywhere, it's horrible. Um, I've just reset and I don't know why it's not gone away, but anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know that I balls up and I've got to redo a lot of it again to make up for it. So yeah, be back soon. Okay guys, we've just hit the next bit done. Um, I actually messed that up a couple of times, which really did really annoy me, actually. I was um, contemplating leaving it till the morning. I was that annoyed, but then I thought, no, I'm already pretty much there, so I'll just carry on, brave it out. So anyway, we've got to reset now, and I believe we're about three quarters of the way through, and then we are done with this shite for to Okay, guys, we're just about to finish this last, well, the second last sort of thing before the reset, and... There we go. I panicked halfway through this because I genuinely thought I'd fucked up. Um, I was really scared, actually. It was pretty close to the end of the sequence as well. I clicked the wrong one, then I reset, and it didn't look right. And I thought, oh, good God. So I just stuck it out, and it turned out to be right. So anyway, guys, one more to go, and we are done. Okay, guys, we are so, so unbelievably close to finishing this. I am, in fact, just going to finish it off now with the last three levers we've got to pull. So this one here, this one down here, and then finish it off, move that across into there, there we go, 
And I believe, yep, there we go. It is done. We have completely finished that now. We never again have to go back to that, which is absolutely amazing. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to you when I'm back up in that room. Okay, guys, we're up here. Now what we need to do is go inside this little room here, flip the lever, push the big red button. It's going to drain us of quite a bit of magic, or defense, rather. There we go. Now if we leave, we can take this... Oh, press the lever, rather. Take this body bar. Is that what it is? Body bar, there we go. Now, we're going to have to restore up with the defense. There we go. And now if we use another prime bar on the door. Sorry, I lost my bearings there. Pull the lever, shut the door. Why right, let me push the button? Um, I want to push the button. I've got sufficient defense. Um, what is going on? Yeah, I'm just going to go have a look a sec, guys. To see. So, yeah, guys, we just had a couple of levers to pull again to sort of fix this little machine after we made one body bar. Hopefully, we never have to make body bars again because this is it's a bit of a pain. Not going to lie. And there we go. That sorted. So, I'll meet you guys when we get up there again. Okay, guys, we're up here. Now, we just need to flip this lever, shut the door, push the big red button, flip the lever again and grab ourselves a second body bar now all we have to do to finish the quest completely is go back and smith a body body so i'll see you guys well guys we're finally here at the very end of the quest that was not the most fun quest i've ever done in my life but come on there we go so we've got 2k smith and xp didn't quite get as a level i don't think but it's still something pretty good got ourselves 50 coal off it as well and I'm not too sure how good the xp is um which skills you like to like some XP and I think smithing. Whoa, some smith and XP there. Goodness me. Okay, so we're 38 smithing now. Two XP off 39. I think we're gonna use it in smithing again. Because I'm currently training defense at Ankus, I think that's how you pronounce them. So um Oh wait, do we do we get it in that anyway? Oh whoa. We get it anyway. That's actually really cool. Nice, so we got quite a few levels there, what, three in total? So yeah, that's adding up to our total, which is almost a thousand, so we'll be able to buy our first life before long. But anyway, guys, um, I guess that's it. Thank you very much if you did watch this entire video. I think it's about 12 minutes long. Also, just before we go, as I do in most of my videos, if you're looking for a, an Iron Man-only clan, you know, you started off in Iron Man, you're not really got a clan, or even if you've never really been in a clan before and you want to see what it's like, there's no sort of requirements to join our clan. It is basically just a help clan. Any Iron Man can join or Hardcore Iron Man. What we do is we just help each other out, have a little chat. A lot of us have Skype calls. I'm actually going to be joining a Skype call whilst editing this video. So, yeah, if that's something you think you'd be into, you know, getting to know some other people playing, sort of stuff like that. There's no Citadel work required, then please just make sure you inform us some way by either commenting on the video, getting to us on Twitter, um link's going to be, you can see it in the chat bar there along with our Twitch one, it's also going to be in the description so um, you know if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you tell us and then we can get you to join, as you can see the clan size is 114, it's pretty big, um, we've got a lot of us talking at the moment in the bottom, you can't see that because I've got the Twitter and the Twitch links there, but anyway that's it really guys, um, hopefully you make sure to like this video provided you enjoyed it uh, leave us a comment see if you like this series so far if not tell us why what we can improve on and also subscribe for more videos anyway thank you very much guys and i'll see you next time